So, this is the be preserved in formally solution. Formally is simply formally form many. Yes, 
luggage. And advantage is that they'll be able to see without spraying their necks or tipping their heels backwards. That's the disadvantage. I mean, that's the advantage. But disadvantage, what you see at your eye level, it means you can touch it. Okay, make them large enough. Make them large enough and in a sufficient quantity. Why? Why should uh, video aids be made in a sufficient quantity? Large enough for you because we want to make it large so you can see. But then why should they be in a sufficient quantity? Why should they be in sufficient quantity? The number of visual aids should be enough. What? Because you are going to have a lot of kids crammed around one visual aid. But if you are going to have sufficient, you are going to have few at every spot, which is going to be easier for you as a teacher to explain. But each one of them, you are also assured that they will be able to see what you are trying to explain. If it's not sufficient, pass it along. Let the children see it. When you are done looking at it, pass it, pass it on to the next person so it can be passed on if it's not sufficient. But don't make them stand on one view and then they are all full pushing each other and so on and so forth. Blood is not going to make it effective. Um, make sure that the children understand that the visual aid or if it's a model, make sure they understand that the model is not the real thing. But it will be larger or smaller. Make sure that the children should be able to know if you're using a model, they should know that this is just a representation of the real thing. The real thing could be smaller or it could be larger. Make sure the model is safe, or make sure the visual aid is safe enough for children to use. When you are Right marks and then and they will do that. 
that are okay, washing your hands is a very good thing. You are right in somewhere where someone is grabbing their nose, using their hands, and X, they will be able to know that it is not allowed. So make them simple. Do not give them a lot of details, otherwise, it is going to be confusing to the child. Be consistent when you are using visual. Be consistent. Okay, when you are using visual aids, you put up a poster, you explain, you take it down, you put another one, you explain, you take it down, you put another one. It may be destructive to the next level. Place the poster, leave them on the wall. It could be for a day, it could be for a week. But leave them long enough for the students to look at them and absorb whatever is on the picture, and then therefore you can take them down there because you want to place up more or new posters. And ensure that visual aids 